KHO and 2 weather, Kamaka Pili. Some areas may begin to see some increased rain chances due to some uh, low-level moisture moving in with the trade winds. But if we're taking a peek here in Honolulu tomorrow, not looking to be impacted too much. We still expect isolated showers here in town, but really the focus of the increased showers will be for the windward sides and potentially some leeward areas, especially for the smaller islands due to that band of moisture, plus a, a slight upper-level disturbance that could just create a little more instability. So in terms of threats we're going to keep our UA threats slightly elevated but mainly for the morning hours in particular ocean conditions in addition to the box jellyfish visiting our south facing shores small craft advisory remains in effect and actually was extended yet again until tomorrow evening with the potential of continuing to be extended because these trade winds are sticking around they may have weakened just a tad but we are expecting that to strengthen once more as we step into the days ahead of us in terms of our surf again box jellyfish down on the south facing shores four to six footers two to four for the west and the east and no more than two footers expected for the north facing shores. Now in terms of our ua or our showers, progressing from now in through tomorrow morning, we're only going to be expecting scattered showers, mainly focusing again for the windward sides, but it's really past the midnight hours we can expect the increase of showers thanks to this pocket of moisture. This was the remnants of what was once tropical cyclone Adrian making its move in towards the islands, brushing up against the windward sides tomorrow morning, looking to be passing towards the west by tomorrow tomorrow evening and following that passing more dry air is expected to be taking its place and that's going to be taking us into the second half of this week with uh, some typical summertime weather here in Hawaii so some good weather to get to we just have to get through a little bump first tomorrow but it's really going to be mainly for the morning and the evening hours but what we're looking at on this screen is the afternoon where it's really just scattered showers partly cloudy skies for most of the islands maybe a little extra cloud coverage for Hawaii Island but speaking of tropical cyclones we continue to keep our eye on what's taking place in the eastern Pacific. This one disturbance does look to be moving in our direction and continuing to weaken at the same time, but it has the potential of being the first system to step into our base in the central Pacific, which has been quiet so far. So if you don't already have, be sure to download that KHON2 mobile app, subscribe to those push alerts, and stay in tune with the latest. And if you don't already have, be sure to get your two weeks hurricane kit prepared just in case. But in terms of the week ahead of us, again, just a little hiccup in terms of those increased rain chances from Tuesday into Wednesday. Drier conditions for the latter portion of the week. Fortunately, those trade winds not going away too much.